Good morning, everyone. Good morning, another beautiful day in Naples. Today, we are gonna take the train to Pompeii and Herculaneum, and I'm gonna show you how. It's right. not that difficult. No, no, it's not difficult at all. Okay, let's go, follow us. We start our journey on the Circumvesuviana train in Naples, and first stop is gonna be Herculaneum. From the train station in Herculaneum is a 10 minute walk to the archaeological sites. The train ticket costs 9 euro per person return and there's one train every half an hour. The right train is the one with the final destination Sorrento. The train ride from Naples to Herculaneum is about 16 minutes to Pompeii 38. Keep in mind this is a commuter train and seats are not assigned. Well, folks. After 16 minutes of train, we arrive to Ercolano Scavi, which is the station for Ercolanium. Also very important, if you have mobility issue, the train might not be the best option for you because there's lots of stairs and no elevators. Uh, Everyone, when you guys come out of the train station here in, yeah, in yeah. Herculaneum, you got to come and see our friend Vincenzo here. Yes. I wait you, I wait you, all people, all people of Canada, a lot of country, I wait you here. These okay. guys are great. Come have a cappuccino and a panini and yes, enjoy. Say hello, Taimé. Hello. Okay. So okay. Then. Thank you so much. <laughs> well, folks, so when you leave the uh, train station, follow for Ercolano Scavi Archaeologici, and that's where the ruins are. Follow us. One of the main differences between Ercolinium and Pompeii is that Pompeii is mostly uncovered because it was just fields and countryside. While in here in Herculaneum, they built a city on top of the old Roman city. So only 10% was possible to uncover, while the rest of the Roman city is buried underneath the new one. And here we are in front of the entrance of the Herculaneum archaeological site. Here you have, this is the Herculaneum old city. And as you can see, they built the new city on top of the old one. You're able to see Mount Vesuvius over there and the lava came really fast down all the way and covered the entire city. As I mentioned before, this is not perfect for people with mobility issues. There's lots of steps. This was the actual coastline at Roman time and you can see this is the wall of lava that completely covered the, the town of Herculaneum. People trying to escape the lava flow, they went in this area where they used to keep the boats. And most of the skeletons found in the city are inside here because they died inside of these places. As you can see, they chiseled quite a few meters of lava to be able to uncover this. Clearly the person living in this house had quite some money. This was the beach and this was the terrace on the ocean. Not a bad view, isn't it? This was one of the many restaurants here in Herculaneum. These are actually fire where they used to uh, cook food and then people can either take away or eat on the restaurant. 
This place is perfect for me. And here you can clearly see that the Roman already had sidewalks. The chariots were going in the middle and here people can walk. Here you can clearly see how much they have to dig and remove like this volcanic ashes in order to find something. Here you can see some Roman mills. They used to put like grains down here and turn this giant stone and the flour was coming down here. And next to this, there's a, still an oven where they used to bake the bread. This is an old, old Roman shopping street. Here you had the entrance for the stores and above the stores there was the, the house for the shop owners. And this is not a townhouse but it's a villa. Come and take a look. As you know, Romans were obsessed with bath, and uh, they had ba um, bath for men and bath for women. Now we're gonna get in the men's bath. So after a nice bath, this was probably the garden where you can come and, uh, and relax. Roman used to have little temples at home where they, where they worshipped their ancestors, and this is one of them. Keep in mind that at least you have to set aside three, three and a half hours to see the old site. It's not super big, but there's a lot to see. So keep it in mind, three, three and a half hours, good time for a colonial. We hope you enjoyed our visit to Arcolaine. Now we go to Pompeii. Follow us.